Buongiorno from Turin, Italy. Today it's all going to be about reflections in street photography. The possibilities of composing street photos with reflections are endless. They can be found on cars, on shopping windows, on any other reflective surfaces. Follow me around through Turin um, while I am showing you my approach in composing street photos with reflections. Let's go! If you're shooting reflections, it's good to have a small, inconspicuous camera like the Fuji X100V with you. So that the shop owners, if you're shooting shopping windows, don't think that you're stealing their shopping window interiors or something like this. Setting-wise, I'm going to use mainly Aperture Priority today. And now, let's go shooting! So these kinds of clean, modern buildings are great for reflection photography. The best thing is if you put your camera straight on the reflective surface, just like that, in order to get the best reflection shot. And then, it's like always in street photography, you just have to wait. So she's going around the corner. So mirrors of cars and mofas as well, also great for reflections. So I want to try something out. I show you this. One moment. Yeah. Maybe now. Let's see. Yeah, like this. Maybe just like this. This is interesting. Many great street photographers like Ernst Haas, Harry Gujat or Saul Leiter used reflections to spice up their street photography game. So, if you want to go deeper into these reflections in street photography, be sure to visit exhibitions of these great street photographers or if you can't visit the exhibitions, just buy a book. You learn a lot and get really inspired for the next photo walk. I a very interesting poster and I'm trying to put a person just behind these two people on the ad. Let's try it. Ooh, maybe those people, I'm not sure about it. Yes, maybe those two, no, too close, too close. They have to be in the middle. Yeah, just like this maybe. I found an interesting reflection here. Here you can see the entrance of the building with this reflection there. Let's see if we catch somebody going through this entrance, just like these two people. Yes, I guess that's nice. Also great for self-portraits. Let's try one. So here is also a great reflection. Can you see the lamp and the buildings in the background and the food stall in the foreground? I'm trying to frame somebody in the window of the food stall. Let's do it like this. A little, a little bit more distance. Just like this maybe. No. It should come more close, I guess. Maybe just like this. That's a nice frame. That's a pretty nice frame. Yes, I like that. That's cool. So, here's another ad which could be quite interesting for a composition. Johnny Depp in the foreground, 
and this impressive building on the Via Roma on the background of the reflection. So maybe this works, but you always need the right people at the right place at the right time. You see, like the upper half of Johnny Depp's face is now fully embodied by this building. This looks pretty interesting. This looks really pretty interesting now. Or maybe him. Or maybe this lady now. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I love this. Yeah, that's the best version. Let's soldier on. Beautiful with the arcades here and with the wonderful colors of all the clothes in the shopping window. Oh, I guess maybe, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, full of layers, very interesting. Dang, I guess I should have called this video shooting reflections in posters. But this is a very beautiful one. Let's try this. With a lamp in the background. It's interesting. Maybe I need a person here as a reflection. Uh, yeah, just like that. Yeah. And I think with a hand, we're going to have an interesting composition here. Just like this. And another poster. Let's see what we can do here. There's this bright spot on the other side of the street. It would be perfect if somebody would walk just towards this spot. Like maybe this lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's wait for another one. Yeah, she's great. Look. So look, this is nice. This makes you think of hot chocolate, don't you? So I want somebody just walk in the middle of the frame. Yeah, that's it. That's the shot. Yes, I know I promised you to show you reflection shots on cars as well. But during the last three days, I checked hundreds of cars for interesting reflections. Nope. During winter, I guess the sun is too low and too weak at the same time. So you only get really good reflection shots on cars during the summer months. So, yeah, let's wait for the summer. Please write me in the comments if you want to see another reflection video in the summer. Yes, another poster reflection composition. But here things are a bit different. I'm trying to use this broken sheet of paper as a frame for my image. So, I hope you enjoyed the small street photography reflections POV. Reflections are great for street photography beginners because you don't have to be so close to your subjects on the street. Reflections are also great for advanced street photographers because you can improve your street photography composition by making uh, more complex and sometimes mind-boggling street photos. If you like this video, please leave me a like and a subscribe, maybe also as a small Christmas present for me, that would be great. Merry Christmas, have a wonderful time, as always, happy shooting, see you in the next video, yours, Oliver.